So just moments ago, you heard from one side of the oil tax ballot measure debate, the yes on one group, and now the other side, no on one. In November, Alaskans will vote on a new oil tax structure, ballot measure one. No on one supporters think the Fair Share Act could impact more than just the bigger oil fields. They say it's complex and unlike a measure that would go through the legislature, there are no public hearings to explain things and no opportunity for the public to comment. Instead, we're left with a take it or leave it proposition that could be a disaster for our state in the way that it has uh, been designed with this massive tax increase right at a moment in time when our state is desperate to maintain its oil industry as part of the foundation of an economy that's under significant threat from COVID-19. The No Group says state revenue issues aren't due to SB 21. They say it's because of lower oil prices and that SB 21 is working. And our tax rate. Conoco Phillips' Scott Jepson talked about investment plans on the North Slope during a recent Zoom media briefing with other supporters. When you take a look at the uh, plans that have been talked about for Prudhoe, Kaparik, and uh, Alpine, there's about $10 billion on a gross basis of new investment that's planned for these fields. It's going to add hundreds of thousands of barrels a day of new production and uh, generate, obviously, thousands of jobs in support of that, support thousands of jobs. Now, Jepson made it clear ConocoPhillips will not leave the state if the Fair Share Act passes, but appeared to be sending a very clear message of what might happen to local oil investment if the Fair Share Act goes through. And we'll uh, invest where it makes the best returns for us. And if Alaska doesn't make sense, which it won't under this uh, under this tax initiative, you can expect we'll be sending our money to other places. And uh, it's going to be significant. Still got some work to do, but... Uh, that brings us um, back to Mark Fairbanks, off, one of many in the middle of the ongoing tax debate. He managed to survive one layoff and doesn't want to see it happen again to him or anyone else. Now, both Exxon and Hill Corp are also part of the One Alaska group, and they said they would let the group speak for them. Now, it's obvious there is and will continue to be much debate about what's fair when it comes to how much oil companies should pay. And we asked longtime oil industry expert Larry Persily to add to this conversation. And we asked him this, what is the sweet spot? the dollar amount oil producers should pay that satisfies a majority of people. There's not a sweet spot that anybody can answer. Put on a, the, the sweet spot is when the companies make enough money to keep investing so you have more oil for 10, 20, 30 years, but that sweet spot is not such a high tax rate that they stop investing. Where that is, is impossible. The oil industry knows they will always be the deepest pocket in Alaska. What they're growing weary of and what scares them when they make investment decisions is that they are the only pocket in Alaska. Now, the Yes Group says many state lawmakers weren't listening to them about our oil tax structure, saying that's why the group pushed for ballot measure one. Joe Hill, KTVA 11 News.